Uh, the war in Chechnya, which started in 1995, in a way played a, a quite important and big role in my life because uh, uh, I managed to realize my dream of uh, becoming a kind of international person, as I, if I can say so, uh, and to be involved in the work of the um, NGO uh, sector in Chechnya. Today, uh, life is not very easy in Chechnya, despite all those efforts that are undertaken by the government and uh, numerous um, non-governmental organizations in the region. And the image of uh, a reconstructed and uh, prosperous Grozny in Chechnya has an opposite side of it, uh, which is not very beautiful. And these are everyday struggle of uh, people for survival for supporting their families, their children, uh, their extended families too, because family in Chechnya, it's not only a couple and children. It does um, more than that, um, kind of many relatives involved in this extended uh, network, let's say. In fact, uh, the whole population of Chechnya in its majority, they are Muslims. And the problems related to that uh, has to do with women, because women um, are, in a way, forced to, co to cover in accordance to uh, Koran. And sometimes, you know, uh, this dress code is imposed on them. For example, those who, who work uh, in um, governmental institutions are not allowed to, to their work until they wear the uh, appropriate uniform, and even uh, girls at school are demanded to put scarves on their heads, uh, otherwise they, they can't attend lessons at school. Um, in the rest, uh, it is very difficult, as I said, because there is a high level of unemployment in the Republic, and many people survive thanks to uh, numerous allowances, not numerous, a few allowances from the government, like uh, Allow, um, children allowance, unemployment allowance, uh, which is um, very little money, in fact. And it is not enough that even, you know, to feed a family for a few days. We try to do what we can in the current time, that to improve situation of Chechen people. And uh, one, of, uh, one of the projects that we implement is uh, assisting people to be aware of their rights in accordance with the Russian Constitution and to work for realization of these rights uh, in practice. Um, and also we know that it is very difficult to, um, to have some sustainable impact on the situation if, the, if an organization functions isolatedly. So one of the strategies we have in the area right now is to, um, to strengthen a network of the women's NGOs and uh, uh, to uh, encourage cooperation and more interaction with it within this network, also for the sake of raising more funds for the region. The major reason why donors do not want to invest in Chechnya anymore is uh, the fact that the war is over and situation is quite, it looks quite okay now. Uh, the next thing is that Chechnya is part of Russian Federation, which is economically stable country. It is not a development country. And um, the next one, which is often mentioned by donors, is that they, they, they cannot freely access the area. So they have no opportunity to freely travel to the region. My hope is that uh, Chechnya will be more interesting for the donors and for their investments and that this, this should not, you know, make um, um, a dependency of the NGOs on the foreign investments, but this international expertise will be used that to do capacity building of the regional uh, network of NGOs, which will um, then fulfill the gaps which the government uh, cannot cover so far. And my personal hopes are related to my three children, 
And um, I think that I'm responsible for providing maybe more, more perspectives and more opportunities for them. I will try as much as I can to seek for those in Chechnya. And I hope that someday it will be true. It will become true.